All right, so I've had a couple requests to demonstrate or take a video of me cooking, and um, this will be video number one. Excited, see how this goes. Today I'm gonna be making what I call orange beef. It's my kind of take on orange chicken, which, I mean, who eats chicken anyway? Just joking, we'll do chicken later. But, ingredients you're gonna need. Um, I like the Chuck short rib, cheap, effective, good, delicious meat. This one's boneless, even better. Um, I'm gonna make a lot of it, so I got quite a bit. But um, sesame seeds for garnish at the end. Toasted, untoasted, black, white, mix, whatever. Um, powdered garlic. I'm gonna use some chipotle chili just because, you know, like it, like to keep things spicy. Onion powder. Black peppercorns. Of course, oranges but not just the inside, we're gonna use some zest too. And I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of orange juice. But starting off, let's prep all of our ingredients. I'm gonna chop, well, kind of slice all the, uh, the onions. Already did half, but you know. Doesn't really matter. We're not really looking for anything in particular. Just nice, fine. They're gonna be fine just like that. Um, take the garlic. I really just kind of take it, take all the shell off, at least the external shells. Um, I chopped the bottom off so that it's nice and clean. And then uh, just a once through. Doesn't really matter, again. We're not really worried about it. Now, while I have all that going, or started, I'm gonna go start my uh, pan. Get rid of all that nonsense. Now, this one's a little bit weird, but uh, it's got a multi-stage dial over here. I'm gonna go with seven and a half for an electric, you know, medium, medium high on a uh, gas, or, um, you know, if you're working with other types of culinary. But, uh, gonna need some, a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. Um, and then um, later on, we're gonna need dark brown sugar. Make it a little bit uh, thicker. live action okay. so just don't know if you guys know if you guys haven't used the spiderco cutlery it's fantastic absolutely fantastic Couple spicy chilies. Um, I use the uh, small red chilies you get in the Asian market. Okay. Mm. 
I like to smell my ingredients. It's just my thing. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, just a splash. Um, that way I can start um, sauteing the garlic and the onions. We're gonna do onions first, because I don't want my garlic to burn. This is how I have it. So. I'm using a wok, like I said, I'm making a bit because I got some some people coming over. So it's gonna be a little bit more than uh, kind of what I had originally planned, but we'll work. Those are just gonna heat. Let's get some of that flavor out. While that flavor is getting out, we're gonna just remember another spice I'm gonna use for my uh, base sauce. I'm gonna use the Korean bulgogi sauce. Adds a lot of good flavor, but. Got those onions cooking. Throw in my garlic. And again, I just throw it in kind of whole. But if you don't like the shells, you don't need to put them in there. You can unshell them and do whatever. Now that both of those are started, I'm gonna turn it down just a bit because I don't want them to burn. But I also want them to kind of continue getting that flavor. So I'm gonna turn them on low. I'm gonna start chopping my meat. Just so I, oh, just cubed. Nothing fancy, you know. Now after my first set of beef, I'm gonna take my peppers now. And those are going in. I just did two peppers, not sure how spicy people like things, but hey, you know, who's the chef here, right? It's got a nice healthy chunk of fat in the middle. Nice.
So I'm gonna stick with three pounds of meat. I might use more, but it's all going in. Got our meat in, got our onions in, everything. I'm gonna wash my hands. So now I'm gonna turn it on high heat because I really wanna get this uh, beef kind of seared on the edges. I wanna lock in that flavor. While that beef searing, I just felt a little frisky right now. So I'm gonna chop up a little bit of ginger. Not a lot, but you know, just wash my cutting board and knife. But let's see. Oh, well, it's a bit. Let's go here. Now, depending on how much ginger you like, you can add more or add less. I'm adding about a teaspoon and a half. Finely minced. That's just going right in. Yeah, going to see some colors. Now, I'm not gonna use salt for this because we already have salt going in with the sauce. 
Um, onion powder. Just a dash. Garlic powder. Another dash. Chili pot, chili powder. This one's very uh, chipotle. Not gonna add a lot because chipotle has a lot of flavor, and I don't want it smelling like chili. But just a dash, like a half a dash. Close all these back up. Kind of pepper to taste. A little bit extra for good measure, right? Now, while that's all cooking, oranges, you don't want them like soft, but you want a nice ripe orange because you want that nice, sweet, juicy orange flavor. And we're gonna zest it. If I don't break everything in the kitchen first. So this is a navel orange, but I've used various oranges. Let's 
Now I'm just gonna cut it in half and both of these are gonna get squeezed in. Once I got all the juice, put it in the trash. Again, washing the hands. Orange juice, kind of like, kind of like coated a little bit. You don't necessarily want the meat fully cooked right now because you're gonna now simmer it and let it let it really get the cooking in the uh, orange juice. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Um, this is uh, Amish butter, it's delicious. Which lid goes to which pen, right? All right? I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit just because what I don't want to happen is what's inside to burn because it's inside a closed environment now. But um, we're gonna let this go maybe every couple minutes. I'm gonna look at it. But I'm gonna start cleaning. I have room to do other things. in there. I like to say that as you, you can know how your food's gonna taste by how it smells. So, but that doesn't mean you need a sense of smell to cook. Some people just know it's intuitive, is it?
So because now is the time to kind of clean and get everything together. You know, to get some of these dishes done. Let's get them soaking for right now. Let's put away everything we don't need. Spices, you know. Yes. She likes commenting that we're cooking. As now I'm primarily caught up, it's time for, you know, sit back and relax time, right? Get a little bit of coffee. Okay, now I got a kind of rolling boiling. I'm gonna let that boil off for a bit. I like to boil it down until the sauce is nice and thick. Um, depending on you, you could boil it down until it's runny and thick, but I like it nice and thick. Thick sauce. So since I got a little bit of time, I gently clean them, wipe them down. Um, this is the Spyderco, like I said. Um, I switch between, favorite knives are the Spyderco, the Jay Hinkle, um, and the Miyabis.
Um, I mean, obviously kind of in storage right now, but you know, use what I got available. And then, uh, for care and maintenance, I just got two whetstones, um, 3,000, 8,000, and a 3,000, 1,000. to make sure they, they keep their uh, cutting edge. And again, this is just dark brown sugar. I'm just gonna uh, I'll say there. Maybe half a cup. Again, I want that to kind of be like a little bit of a binding agent. Cause it'll get sticky and gonna hold everything. Picking up the sauce a little bit extra. I don't really want it to overpower everything else because the oranges are sweet and so is the orange juice. But I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me cook, so I'll start this again when I'm when I got everything done. So a little ways into it boiling again toasted you can buy the big bulk bags this is what I had available but um, just gonna add a bit I like sesame and it makes me happy to see it Again, still letting it cook down. Might add a little bit more. Yeah, sure. So the sauce is getting rather thick now. Starting to thicken up really nicely. Give it a little bit more time. Kind of made a little bit more than expected. Had some gas, I was like, mm. you know, what can I make that's quick, fast? If it wasn't this much in proportion, this would probably be done. I've completed this dish and for two people in maybe 15 minutes. But prep time and everything. But like I said, that was for two people. Uh, trying to feed about eight right now. So 
So, you can see, it's starting to get thicker. You can hear it. You can hear the consistency of the bubbles. Um, I'm gonna let it go until it thoroughly coats the spoon and kind of uh, slowly comes off the spoon. So, like I said, I kind of want it to be a thicker sauce versus a thinner sauce. But, you know, some nice chunks of garlic. Those are gonna be tasty. Some things about garlic, if you let them sit for about 10 minutes, you really get the full flavor. Pressing also works. If you wanna make this a quick process, press, press the garlic. That would give you a lot of flavor, but, you know. You, you base your cooking off what your time frame is, right? Like I said, this is really thickening up right now. As it thickens up, I want to stir it a little bit more frequently, but I still want to let it rest. I'm not just going to stir it constantly because I, I want it to boil off. And it'll boil off faster if I let it rest. Now for the fun bits, right? What kind of chef would I be? Can't taste that. I do hate myself, because that's delicious. Almost there, you see? Starting to come down. Almost there. Keep going with this coffee. Oh yeah. What's up, man? Some of the pieces might be stuck together or whatnot. Maybe you didn't cut fully. You know, we're lazy. But. If they are, you could just press them apart with the spoon, with the spatula or spoon or whatever you're using. Um, it should be pretty tender. Um, onions, the sauce, the oranges, the acidic acid, you know, everything kind of culminates into a nice uh, tenderizing agent to make the, the meat nice and soft. So. All right. Nice. Now I'm gonna stop it there and let it settle. And, you know, take the uh, foam mustache I have, you know, off. But um, I'm gonna serve it with some rice. I'm gonna steam up some zucchini real quick and um, get that going. And that's gonna be the meal. I'll show you what everything looks like when it's done. All right, so I didn't have a lot of zucchinis, so I'm gonna use some carrots and zucchinis. You know, take off some tips. Got 
doesn't really matter the size, not really important. It's just vegetables. And I'm not super minding. Everybody says, rub the top, the zucchini after you cut it, whatever. But we're going to chunk of butter or whatever. Basil's kind of running the end of its life, so is my tarragon, so I'm going to add a little bit of each. super done shouldn't really chop leaf vegetables super a lot but whatever So, carrots, zucchinis, add a little bit of salt. 
Measurements for suckers, right? Dash of pepper, seasoned beautifully, right? Let that simmer. So as you'll see, it's kind of settled down. Nice thick sauce. We've got the rice in the Instapot. Boom. And that's gonna be the meal. I'll get back on when it's done.